that floor is definitely motivating me to keep going on this thing man cannot wait to start getting into cutting these quarter pounds and all that stuff today we're going to be trying to figure out how to uh put our attachment onto the frame of the car so we could get this thing lifted up in the air and turned over just got the rear end all disconnected all right we got this other side of the rotisserie what's up everybody welcome back to the channel as you can see we got this long bed silverado here we picked up the welder from my dad man so we got a couple projects we're gonna be doing with that thing we got to get this bed switched off of here it's damaged on one side my uncle got another bed right there that you guys been seeing on that trailer we're gonna get that uh switched out within the next couple of days today we rocking with this mustang project man we got the rotisserie set up you guys seen a couple videos back if you haven't go check that out but we got this thing out uncovered you can see the floor is looking amazing right there man today we're gonna be trying to figure out how to uh put our attachment onto the frame of the car so we could get this thing lifted up in the air and turned over so we could hit the bottom of this thing all right we cutting this cardboard out we're gonna use this as a template so that we can get some holes drilled in this thing so we can uh, mount this up right here it's going to attach to the rotisserie so we can get the front end lifted up. There's two holes right here that support the uh, bumper to the main frame rail. So we're going to poke holes in this cardboard. Then we're going to know where to uh, transfer it at onto this. So we use the cardboard to make a template to know where we could uh, put our holes in our bracket. So now we got it marked right here. And right there, we're going to get our drill. We're going to drill two pilot holes through there. And then we'll enlarge it so we can get our boats to uh, go through there and mount that on there. All right, guys, it's late night. We still on this thing. As you can see right here, we got one of the uh, brackets to line up against the frame rail. These are two bolts I got in there holding it. We drilled through there, so we're gonna get some short bolts that's gonna go right through there and tighten up pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and take this off and uh, get it lined up with the other one. I already marked it. We're gonna drill those holes so that that way uh, the other side can go on and we'll get some bolts tomorrow and get this front thing lined up then we'll head to the back and see what's up with that I'm back off the car this one is drilled through on both sides so we're gonna go ahead and uh do the same thing with the other one so we can get that thing drilled through i have my marks already on here so we're gonna put this little drill bit in to start a pilot hole and then we'll uh finish it off with this big one got the holes drilled through this thing we got this one right here and this one right here so what we're gonna do ahead what we're gonna do is go ahead and uh drill this one all the way through the same as this side right here so that we can come through to the other side and that the uh boat will be able to slide all the way through and mount up against the frame rail of the mustang guys
All right, guys, we got all the holes drilled out. So tomorrow we're gonna uh, get some bolts from the hardware store and get these front pieces mounted on there. We still have to uh, set the jacks, the bottle jacks onto the uh, rotisserie to make it go up and down. We gotta install those and go back over all our bolts and tighten up everything. And then we'll head to the back of the Mustang. That should be pretty easy. It should mount up to the uh, leaf springs on the back of the Mustang. I did get an attachment for those, so hopefully that goes well. And we'll get this thing in the air, man. But that's Next day here, guys, we got this one mounted on there. I found some boats in my uh, bucket of boats that I keep. Got that on there. This one, I drilled it out last night. Then I have to come back. I use this uh, drill bit that I have. And this enlarged the holes on both sides. So I got that on there. Uh, got that drilled through. So now we're going to be able to go ahead and mount this side up. This is going to slide through here like this. And then it's going to mount on right there. We got to get some jack fluid, hydraulic fluid for the uh, jack that go on these. So this is going to go right here just like on the other side. And then I have this bolt that I found in my bucket. And I'll put a, uh, another nut that's larger than the uh, bolt so it slides through there and act like a spacer so that it can go through and then we got all threads screwing into there so it's gonna go on there and screw in we get that side mounted up and then we'll be on to the back to figure out how we're gonna get something attached on to there I got some attachments that I purchased with the uh, rotisserie for the leaf springs that go in the back so that's this part right here. That part should be easy, I'm hoping. And then the attachment will just slide on to that part like that. That's the goal. We're gonna get on that back part. Right after we finish getting this mounted on there, hopefully this thing will be up in the air in no time. All right, we got our other boats on that other side. We took it back off of the frame rail. Now we're gonna uh, go ahead and try to jack it up to get up to this height so we can uh, screw those in there we don't got no fluid still yet but we determined to see how this thing is going to mount up and hold right there so we're going to jack it up and uh try to bring the car up to it see what we working with Alright guys, we got the front locked on here. As you can see, this thing is on the rotisserie. The front wheel is off the ground. We definitely can start uh, taking the wheels off and this front suspension and stuff like that so we can get it down to just bare metal up inside of there. All this stuff will be removed off of here, brake lines and everything like that definitely gonna make the car lighter that way we can flip it over we got to get back here to the back and get that thing uh, disconnected I believe it's gonna mount up right here to the leaf springs but we gotta get this thing off get that rear end roll from under there I don't have no jack stand and I'll let someone use my jack but I was using the motorcycle jack that helped me get this up right here so hopefully we'll be able to get this off uh and out of the way that floor is definitely motivating me to keep going on this thing man cannot wait to start getting into cutting these quarter panels and all that stuff off but first we got to get this thing flipped over the main thing we're going to do is hit that bottom of the floor get all that done then work on this uh firewall and all that I'm definitely trying to figure out what color I'm going to use to uh, paint this really don't want to go red I wouldn't mind the red but I have that color in mind for another 
car that I'm gonna be doing. So I don't want two red cars, but who knows? Uh, but I want to pick the color selection so that I could hit this dashboard and get all that stuff prepped and get some color on that and the doors. I want to spray the front cow and all that. But we definitely make the progress on this thing. Alright guys, it was getting late, but we decided to go ahead and get this back up in the air. We found this old jack that we had. We jacked it up right there. We used the motorcycle jack on the other side. So we're going to tackle this rear end and get that thing from up under there so we can put the attachment on the back side and put this other frame uh, part of the rotisserie on the back so we can connect it in the middle right there. And hopefully by the end of this weekend, man, sometime, not this video, maybe the next one, this thing will be getting twisted on this side. All right, guys, we did not stop working on this thing. It's nighttime, but we continued to work on it. We got the uh, rear leaf springs is coming off right here, as you can see. I'm trying to get the tension off of it so we could get it off. I already loosened up the, uh, the shocks. Those is ready to come out right there on both sides. I got the front bolts already out of this thing. And then once we get these back ones off, this thing will be uh, ready to roll up out of here. This rear end definitely will be ready to roll up out of here. That's what we're working on right now. Getting a little bit closer to getting this back put on the... Uh, rotisserie we got this bracket all off so it's nothing right here holding this side on now we're gonna go and get the other side off and tackle them brake lines just got the rear end all disconnected now we can't roll it out because the car is not up in the air high enough so what I'm gonna do is take the wheels off so I take the wheels off on both sides. I'm going to put the uh, jack under there. And then I'll just drag the rear end out from up underneath. And then we'll be all set to go. This thing is all the way out and on the floor. Got those wheels took off this thing. The other one right there. This thing will be getting put up for sale. Definitely not gonna keep it flying around. We're gonna keep it, hold on to it. But as you can see, we got all this other junk laying around, so definitely not holding on to nothing. We'll start thinking about saving stuff in the future once we got the space garage or a shop or something like that man once we get that land but this thing is all cut it out rear end is from under there we gotta get that gas tank out and all our little parts and stuff that we got in the trunk for it but once we get all that stuff out we'll be able to flip this thing over gonna play with the back some more and see if our little attachment pieces uh mount up right there just found some bolts in my bucket put this up here this is gonna mount up right here and allow us to hook that onto the uh rotisserie frame but the screw is a little bit too long i could get it in there as you can see I got it in there but it's not enough room it's already hidden right here on this little uh, rail so I won't be able to tighten it up and then this will still be moving so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is uh, take this out got the other one right here so I'm gonna screw this down like that I'm gonna cut this part off with the grinder and then that'll give us room for the other side to slide in then we'll be able to tighten it up and get a snug uh fit that way this don't be rocking back and forth we can stay in one position like that and then our rotisserie will slide right in 
All right, we got this other side of the rotisserie uh, to the back of the car. We got our little attachment hooked up right there. Same way on this side, we got this one hooked on there. We got to get our little, uh, our jack that go on this side right here. We still don't got no fluid for that, but we're going to install that on here and then lower this down to meet those. Once we get that on there, we're going to uh, be able to let our jack down that we got. Then this thing definitely will be suspended up in the air on its own after we do that. On that uh, suspension for the next video. Just got through installing the middle section, the little crossbar that go from one side to the other side. We got that all installed. Now it's time to uh, let the jacks down. We're gonna let these jacks down. Should be standing on its own on the rotisserie. The wheels is up in the air. Start with this one. This jack is down. Let's let the one down on the other side. This one not even holding. This one being up in the air. All right, this jack is down. This thing is standing on its own. You guys can see it's rocking back and forth. Thing definitely ready to get flipped. That'll be all for this video. Until next time, man. We out. Peace.